Yeah. I have made another mat for the floor. Oh, okay. Where... Okay. Uh, today I will be taking out the compost because uh, by every fourth day I am taking it out in order for the compost to be aerated that the microbes won't be killed because um, the center of the compost will already be um, um, uh, getting wet from being uh, from the waters that are collected and that um, uh, uh, it is not ventilated for it is not so well ventilated for already three days so we have to take it off and mix them up that uh, it will be exposed to air and that the aerobes will not be will not be killed because if they don't get five percent of oxygen and then so the compost will have to stink because it will be dominated with anaerobic, uh, non-aerobic uh, bacteria or microbes which produce stinky odors, they produce gas but now since I, I, I have too much of uh, nitrogen rich waste I have to collect uh, carbon rich materials you have to reuse and uh, reuse cartons because we have collections of cartons there I just asked from my mother <laughs> so that I can um, compensate it here in the compost but since I'm very lazy today of tearing on the uh, the cartons the papers then I'll be using some tool to lighter my task I will be using this one, this one, a paper cutter, so that it will be easier for me to, to torn, uh, torn uh, many pieces in, in just one time. I will not be tearing it one after, one after another, but I will Bear it together at one time, right? I can double the task. So uh, let's begin so that the day will be our work today will be finished earlier because I still have to fix on the tree list of the Ampalia because the cat have been cutting all the straws that I use as straight as its tree list. They keep on sharpening their nails on, on that spot and the uh, and, uh, straw that I use are always being hit by their nails. They're being cut. I put some wood under the cutter because this one it has a uh, has legs and it will 
it will dig on the table and the table will be damaged so I put here underneath some wood tools to hold on the legs that it won't dig on the table like that because the place is really the place is really in this array because this is a working area here for my compost and for the um, for the uh, um, things on uh, to be used on the vehicles <laughs> on our service vehicles uh, the fluids are there being placed and it is also a cooking area so it is very in this array <laughs> and we have all here the drainage of the houses just around here but I can carry it I can take it it's not so it's not it's not a nuisance to me I can take it anyways I will be I will be scattering here so it's better I will be working for this area begin to cut this small pieces short and it's okay by any length as long as it is by this thickness but it is much better if you have bigger like this bigger cutter because it can accommodate much bigger size of cartoons or any material to cut I'm going to do a time lapse for this. this in just a matter of a short time if the sharpener is not uh, if the cutter is n is sharp enough then we can cut this by no time okay wait i'll take a break i'll take a break
try three three at a time it will be efficient enough <laughs> just do that it's not so sure <laughs> I'll just have two pieces. I've not been sharpening this one, so it's really dull. The edge is very dull. You have to struggle for three pieces, so maybe I'll just take it too. Yeah, it's much easier. If boys will do this one, then it, this will be very quick. They are much stronger. That's why this stuff is not for girls. <laughs> one and make those being turned and uh, the one big chance that are not being torn not being cut like this not being shred are very much longer to decompose well this one this will take one week and it is already decomposed but it depends it depends another two My table is not so much strong, it's not hard, that's why it's, it's difficult to cut. It is very much shaky and it's making a lot of noise. So distracting. My table is not going to break at any moment. Just make it softly. Just softly. <laughs> Let's see if there is sign of breakage. hurts my fingers you see my fingers are too thin even though I have bigger body but my fingers are really thin <laughs> they don't get fat only my body get fat my fingers are being turned not the papers <laughs> just kidding here <laughs> I'll be mixing my compost I will also do time lapse and I'll show you the maggots hope you be ready to look at it because it is really very yucky <laughs> They look so weird. They are so fat worms. So get ready yourselves. <laughs> I enjoyed watching them. They're very... They're cute for me. <laughs> they're like babies. Cute. <laughs> they're cute. I like looking at them. They are a bunch. A bunch of cute little worms. <laughs> I just 
Let's be quiet and stay focused. That's what we done. We have going to mix the compost. Taking it out is an effort. I'll be sweating later. Not very strong. What's this for leisure time? <laughs> Doing compost. Mixing compost. You're going to uh, drain all your sweats away. You're also doing fitness. sharpen your cutter so that you will not experience disgusting disgusting thing that I'm doing disgusting experience that I am having right now keep pushing this hard thing struggle all the way all your time even though it will be a time lapse it's not also healthy to only do all cutting on time lapse i'll continue on the mixing uh, taking out the compost see all my sweats <laughs> even though i have a cutter i'm sweating it's really that i have to sharpen it yet ever since i bought it i have never sharpened it and uh, the edges have rusted already <laughs> shows rust but it still cuts it's still efficient <laughs> has new stickers forgot to take this and these are paper glossy paper anyway this will not melt and uh, this is not decompose right away by next week I can take this off or by mm, still has plastic and these papers will, will decompose the plastic will be taken off so I can segregate this also very easily and I'll be mixing the compost this will be easily be seen. Hey, I'll be mixing the compost na. I'll take that off na. Wow. So tired. Still have potato feelings there. Ah, uh, peelings. Potato peelings. Potato peels. <laughs> peelings. What we are supposed to do. I will be continuing with what I am supposed to do lately because lately I was late this uh, late uh, lately, last lunch, I was I was shredding the dry materials to mix with the compost. Since it is the fourth day, I have to take out the compost because in order to aerate the middle of the compost, because it, need, it needs aeration, the aerobic microbes need 5% of oxidation and it would only exceed to the fourth day that um, um, the, the middle is very wet already and it's very compact already that it needs air, it needs more ventilation so we have to erase it now and um, um, the previous, uh, the previous uh, with my previous uh, vlog in aerobic compost 
I use a uh, floor mat that is a carton with packaging tapes on. But since today, uh, uh, the one that I made was too wet already because of continuing uh, because of repeating repeated use of mixing the compost. I keep on repeating it, recycling it, reusing, recycling that mat. It's already damaged because it's too wet with the compost. So this is my new mat as for now. The carton and I'll cover it with the plastic. And since the, uh, this, the place here, the area here is just small. Um, I'm trying to adjust with it by just I, by doing the mixing here. I will be taking the trash here. I'll be adjusting with the place because it, the place is just it's just small but anyways we can economize we can make things possible as long as you analyze <laughs> my boyfriend is taking the video and I'm letting him help me since he's not going home yet this is the old compost and this one here this is the new compost but what I will be showing you is this one we will feature on the uh, we will we will feature on the mangas that I've been mentioning on my past gloves these maggots are the larva of black soldier flies um, they are the, they are the family a family of the fly species okay later on we'll take this out Uh, the adult larvae used to um, used to hide underneath. They were they were here lately, and I was cleaning the place, so you can see anymore the adult larvae that, that were pupa at uh, at the pupa stage. I was moving the compost lately. So I I already spread the compost so that we can look on the larvae of the black soldier fly, the maggots. Because it is more my boyfriend is doing it. <laughs> because it is more eh 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 yung kayo hindi mamatay. The uh there are still live ones there. There are plenty of it, so we we must not. We, uh, we might mash them and keep on um, losing the shovel off on it and the compost. So uh, we, uh, we will have a close look on them. Oh no, they are hiding because it was just lately that I've spread this one. Maybe they are hiding. Wait, I have to toss it later. So we will have a close look on them because they were quickly hiding from the light because they don't like uh, light. They like to feed on dark, dark area, dark places. Wait, I have to look on them. Here. Actually, lately there were uh, a bunch of them. Oh, see and there are also bigger than that maybe they are a bunch they are uh, see because uh, the compost was being tossed so it's like they were in shock <laughs> but they're still alive they're still alive they are at their larval stage they are not yet in the pupa stage they have their the, the larval stage is 22 days to one month plus 
and one week for pre-pupal stage like they are at that time they will be feeding too much they keep on fattening themselves like eating uh, double the size of their body so that when it's because when they when they will be adult flies after the pupal stage they will not be eating anymore but they will they will be keep on flying and looking for their mates and uh, and reproduce like lay eggs on the crevices of the compost or the surface of the compost uh, no not the compost the um so man huh? like uh, waste materials or compost yes compost and manures that's what they love most to to lay their eggs and those eggs they hatch for four days four days Ay, God. these are very beneficial uh, beneficial worms like the red worms and because they can be source of food for humans and animals before hurting ako na lang anak na lang ako ba magyaw yan because they are beneficial substantial uh, food source of protein they have they have a rich meat with rich in calcium and has 46% of protein so they can be eaten by humans and are very good source for animal feeds and, and also I have read that we can make uh, they can make uh, we can make by itself with uh, with flour yes it is a good source of food and also um, and the waste of the this larvae can can make a waste that is keeping the compost keeping a uh, um, they can, they can, so, um, the, the black soldier larvae also keeps on, uh, they also help on keeping up, uh, keeping, oh, I think, <laughs> so I was, uh, I was, letting the video to be to be cut because I was thinking and confused how to say it but uh, the larvae uh, produce waste that, uh, that keeps up the heat of the compost like they heat up the compost uh, on my previous vlog I said that aerobic microbes Will produce heat, and when they when they reach to the point of 140 degrees to 160 degrees, they kill the pathogenic uh, bacteria or micro microorganisms. By that time, when the compost is heated up, it means that the compost is cooked. It is cooking. It is decomposing. So when you have enough heat, or when the heat is being rise up then the compost is very quickly decomposing so we can have a very quick product of compost when we have heat uh, i will continue here <laughs> it is really hard for me to to discuss about this thing because i'm not an expert of it I, I just read it because i was very curious why it is in the compost why i see this maggots because I thought it will be just organic but then I was seeing some living things here and to think of that this maggots also this larvae of the black soldier fly they have an, an indigestion in their indigestion um, it will kill the bacteria in their food so that waste that they release it has no more bacteria it is clean a clean source of food and it helps the compost to be humus also humus and 
and it helps to quickly decompose the materials, the, your bio waste. I think that's all. It's enough already. <laughs> Stop her teeth. second bucket I have here compost which is um, for almost three weeks already which is mixed with the new uh, kitchen waste so the, la the layering that I will be doing here is um, first is uh, first I will mix the the old compost this one and then uh, uh, and it's already mixed it is already because I have to erase this one first because it is laying here for four days and as I've said we have we don't have to exceed four days because the aerobic bacteria will be killed and they need also ventilation so that the aerobic will have the five percent oxidation so I, I just keep on repeating it and so uh, in the layering of this after I mix this up First will be the dry materials. Oh, the dry materials. I'll start off. Pull out, Nisha. so much yet is I've already mixed the old compost here the first layering is we put the brown to the bottom of the basket there so that all the waters will not spill uh, at the bottom but will be absorbed by the dry paper or cartoon and then next to the brown is the old old compost. Thank you. 
I have to layer this. I have to distribute this by layer repeatedly. Repeating of repeating of the same layering, the same pattern. The dry one, the old fresh compost, and then the fresh kitchen waste. And then next is the dry again. For the water to, to drain and or be absorbed by the drought. And then the old compost. but for the compost it has been for many months you don't have to mix it here or if you want it to have a quick, quicker decompose, uh, decomposition then you can mix a, a very old compost like months old but if you if you need the compost you will <laughs> but if you will um, if you need to side dress the compost you're in the you're in a rush need of side dressing the month old compost then don't mix the compost here the, the month old compost here just make another pile of compost like mix old compost and the new waste kitchen thing okay okay we're good <laughs> this is done this is done vlog <laughs> <laughs>